Hello guys, this is Rossa, and I give you the arms for the Iron Man Mark 85 build, part 3. Now for this arms, I was able to fit the whole complete arm on the vat since the Pio Poly has the biggest vat that you can print on. Uh, the resin I used for this was the Soraya Tech Fast with Move. And my second layer, burn layer, was about 8 seconds. Uh, total print time was about 18 hours. Shoulders were printed in my transform. I have actually upgraded to the mono screen, which was a 20 hour print at two second layers, which was way faster than my phenom. I just wish that the transform was a little bit more bigger for me to fit more pieces in there. Now for sanding, uh, my two fill starting grit will be uh, 220. That way it will help me get rid of any layer lines that the machine leaves since this is printed at uh, 0 0.05 millimeters. And since it's such a big print and orientation, sometimes it leaves uh, circulator layer lines, but it's easy to remove with the right tools. Uh, you can usually do it by hand it will take a while but since I'm trying to do as fast as I can I just use the uh, sanding tools what I really love about these printers will be the detail and also how it's easy to work and easy to sand any perfections of layers or layer lines it comes just right off and it's smooth and you have to worry about, worry about anything about putting bondo or filler on the part and it makes it an easy process for prepping and paint and as you guys see here uh, the last grid I did before painting was 400 and I just hit it with some fillable primer and get it ready for paint As you guys see here, uh, you guys see me using a blow dryer. The only reason why I was using it is because it was a bit chilly and I needed a little bit of the heat in order for the paint to adhere correctly. And for the rest of the parts, I always start with a black base coat first, that's my first coating, before I move to the final coats.
is where I started applying the red coats to the parts and still using the blow dryer because as I was saying, the weather was a bit chilly. And after my final coat of red, I just go ahead and uh, cover all the pieces with painter's tape and then apply the final coat into the pieces. One thing to always keep notice, uh, always make sure you cover everything correctly in the little spots you leave open will let the all the paint in into the base coat and you will regret it later on. Unfortunately it did but I was able to fix it. And there you guys have it. Both arms completed and painted and enjoy the rest of the video showcasing the final pieces. There you guys have it. Uh, the next part will be the apps and me welded the pieces. So stay tuned and subscribe.